Action Comics 1053 is yet another stunning example of why Superman is my favourite hero, and also why Philip Kennedy Johnson is one of his best writers. The issue opens out with Steel, Superman and the rest of the Super Family taken on the minions of Metallo. He's taken over people's bodies to the point where they're as good as dead and declares war on the entire family, and that threat comes to fruition in this very issue. This had the best Superman moment for me. Other members question why they're trying to help him after what he's done, and Superman gives the most Superman answer ever, and it's great. He then pays Luther a visit to find out what he has on Metallo after Corbin blamed Superman for taking his sister. There is more to Metallo and his new body than we know, and I have to say this is a very brutal and horrific take on the character. As we cut to the extended Super Family, we get to see some great family dynamics. As expected with the build-up of the last few issues, we get to see how John is really feeling about Clark and Lois putting most of their focus on Ozil and Othor Ra. And it's a little sad to see, and all of this leads to a shock reveal at the very end of the issue. The artwork is great, it's so detailed and gritty, to the point where sometimes you forget you're reading a comic book. That is, until you see the red, blue and yellow symbol of hope zooming around. I particularly love the blur of the artwork to show Superman's movement during the sequence with Lex. Action Comics 1053 continues to fit in line with my extremely high expectations and I cannot wait to get stuck into the next issue.